This is the third video providing detailed instructions for how to use Git to collaborate on LaTeX projects. So in the previous video, I showed how to pull a repository which someone else created down onto your computer and to make changes to that project and then push those changes back up to the repository on GitHub where other collaborators can then pull those changes down onto their computers. However, what that doesn't handle is the situation where you have multiple collaborators, each with different files to contribute to the project. And so imagining that one of those collaborators makes a repository on GitHub, uh, this video will show how other collaborators can then pull down those files which um, the first collaborator contributed and then add the files which, which they have to contribute. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna go into this recipes project here and so there's just one file here. And to this lives um, right here. So this is where I have this file, um, or this project folder, recipes. Um, and so let's create a new one, a new test folder. And we're going to cd into test. So now we're in the test folder. And let's make a new file in here. Um, let's say. Yeah, call it that and say uh, this is a file only on uh, this collaborator's computer. Okay. And let's quit out of that. Okay, great. So now what we want to do is we want to pull down everything from this repository, so this different file, into this test folder. So to do this, I'm going to start by doing git init. Um, and then I'm going to um, add this, um, basically this destination. So I'll do click code, click SSH, copy this to the clipboard. And I'm going to do git remote add um, origin, and then control V. OK, and so there is the, I'm adding this new repository. And to check that I succeeded, let's do git remote dash dash v. OK, and sure enough, I've added this fetch and pull. OK, good. So now I can do git uh, pull origin master. And what this will do is it'll pull down everything inside that repository. So let's check to see if it succeeded in that. So let's do ls. OK, so now we have our two files, recipes.md and test55. Um, great, dot tech. OK, so now um, if I open up uh, lazy git, I can now add this original file. And so this might be a whole bunch of project files which I want to contribute to the, to the project. Um, but let's start by making sure that lazy git is recognized in this project, so I'll do lowercase p to pull. OK, and that is not changing anything, but it is um, registering that I'm now up to date. And now I'm going to add this. So commit, say, uh, added file. OK, and so now I have a single commit reaching past the point on the repository. And I'm going to ready to push that up with shift p. OK, great. And if I reload over here, then do code. Sure enough, there's my test file. OK, let's get out of lazy git. Um, and if I now go into my other folder here, so let's cd into recipes. Um, and let's do, uh, well, let's do ls. So right now, we just have this one file here, recipes.md. If we open that up, uh, OK, that's the full recipes. Um, and if I go into here, now I notice there's one commit up on the local repository, which I have not yet pulled down. So let's do that. Let's pull that down. OK, and space E. OK, and sure enough, that tech file shows up. So. Uh, to see this another way, let's do ls, 
And so whereas previously we did ls and recipes, we just had this one recipes, now we have this test file. So this hopefully captures the scenario, um, which you might encounter where by the time you're ready to collaborate with someone, both parties have some documents on their computers, um, which they would like to contribute to the project. And so by using this um, git remote at origin and then git pull origin master commands, um, you can succeed in sort of gathering all those files together uh, without, without too much uh, difficulty.